We're here inside the control room at the Tawila gas compression plant. I'm here with Zach and Abdullah, and thank you very much to Adnock and to Siemens for facilitating this because you really don't get in to see a facility like this. So Abdullah, can you explain to us what's the function of this plant? Uh, the function of this plant is to increase the pressure in the pipeline of work so that we can reach to our customers at the agreed pressure and the flow rate. And this, this whole facility is part of the UAE's grand uh, 2030 strategy? Definitely. This uh, plant uh, built uh, in line with the ADMIC strategy 2030 mm -hmm. to become uh, gas self-sufficiency. And uh, it is a very strategic plant, actually. And it is critical for us to really to reach to a very critical customer in UAE. And, and as I understand, it, the, the, the gas that feeds in here comes from one of the UAE's gas fields and gas, the, 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 the resources you have here. Correct. And then by the, using the technology here, you can ship it on to your customers in Dubai and the Northern Emirates. Correct. Yes, uh, the, the, the gas comes actually from the oil and gas field mm -hmm. in our uh, uh, western region where it's uh, being processed in our processing plant there. Then uh, the gas is transported to our customer at different location using our fast and blue pipeline network, which is around 3,000 kilometers of pipelines. 3,000 kilometers. 3,000 kilometers of pipelines. And uh, actually, this plant here to uh, keep the pressure on the network so that we ensure there's no interruption to the gas and to reach to the customer at their boundary limit at the right, the right uh, pressure and the right uh, quantity of gas. And uh, actually, we are at the pipeline division as part of annual gas processing. We are responsible to operate and maintain this uh, pipeline network and to ensure the optimum and the uh, uh, pressure required on the network is kept always at the required pressure so that we can avoid any interruption to the gas supply to our key customers. And as we we had a tour of the facility earlier, now obviously we were not as per health and safety and all sorts of uh, the health and safety and security reasons, we weren't allowed to take any equipment in there, so we weren't running around with cameras and whatever because we just don't do that. Um, but we'll have some photographs and stuff in the video later to show but we, we had a tour of the facility in the boss. Um, it's an impressive facility. This place was built in 16 months. That's, that's unheard of in terms of pulling one of these things together. How, how did you do that? I mean, it's quite amazing because in fact, it was joint effort between Adnok and Siemens. And uh, that joint effort actually resulted in such a state of art execution timeline. Um, yeah, a lot of challenging time. Um, we had uh, up to 2,800 people at the, the peak of the construction. On, the, on, on site. Yes, and which is very interesting to, to mention. I mean, I, I always use one fact. Uh, we installed 640 kilometers of cable only in four months. We've done 17,000 terminations of cables. Of cables. And we've done 4,600 landing only in four months and resulted in such a very good operation after the commissioning. And like I said, everything was done by joint effort between Adnok and Siemens. And, and when we were chatting about this a couple of days ago, you were saying that, you know, in your traditional construction of a facility like this, you get the construction in, you get this and you get this and whatever. So it all happens in a nice long time. You guys were doing right. stuff in parallel. So they were building something, they were commissioning something else. And so, so it was it was all... Yeah, I mean, we, we, we didn't follow the traditional project execution, that for sure. When you have a, such a time uh, constraints, we kind of push the boundaries of uh, changing the sequencing, organizing the work differently like we would do. And that resulted... In, in this, what you're seeing here. So, but at the end of the day, it was not uh, normal project execution, and I usually call it was commitment. This is not a project, this is a commitment. Absolutely. Commitment done from Siemens, commitment from Adnoc team to deliver this project within the 16 months. In fact, we delivered the project, if you we are looking at the construction, the construction was even less than 16 months. When we are talking 16 months, was from feet to the gassing. But when we see 
some of the photos uh, around this place, you see that in February we had a couple of piles here. It was a completely greenfield project. There was nothing. There was a couple of foundations in February. So in fact, in 12 months, we managed to put the full 145 packages of equipment together and to make operation. So it was quite impressive achievement from, from everyone. Now, when we had the tour, we saw where the, the gas comes in from your network. We see where it goes into the, the three dry uh, compression trains. There was the utility, there was a substation. There's a lot of technology in this and it's, it's mm. leading out. And we're here in the control center. The entire facility is built to be almost autonomously run. It could be run from here or from somewhere else. So it, mm. this is, if you like, the industrial IoT in action, right? It's, everything outside is, is monitored remote and controlled. Um, but what, what kind of technologies are involved? And for some people watching this wouldn't be aware of what you explained about increasing the, the pressure in the, in the gas network. So basically the gas compression is just simply you're raising the, the, the bars of the gas, correct? Yes. And what kind of technology is used to, how do you, how do you raise the gas compression? Just very simple, we have a three compressive trains and each compressive train has a set of equipment and the main is the centrifugal uh, Siemens Dreserant the centrifugal Datum compressor okay uh, driven by electrical motor okay and for each electrical motor we have a, a dedicated VFD variable ah, frequency okay. drive the feed of the electricity is coming from 33 kV substation that that's, is that's the one we saw on site saw it. and uh, and the gas, of course, is compressed by centrifugal force. And uh, but it's not only the compressor. And this is the the interesting part. is a much complex uh, uh, technology here involved. We are talking about we have the uh, pressure control valves. We have uh, we have a suction knockout drum where you have a filtration of the gas that is coming in uh, before you it goes to driving around, yeah. correct. Then, if we are talking, we have the utilities, which we have air compressor, uh, uh, air compressor, and also we have the nitrogen. Yes. Where we have also fuel, and also we have the chemical injection. And uh, beside that, we have offsite is the uh, uh, the, the uh, flare, gas flare, what we saw, and uh, Abdullah quite nicely explained how the protection works in terms of when we have a, we can have a trip and we how we gas out a certain quantity of of uh, gas. So it's a kind of uh, a, a puzzle that we put together in order to to have uh, to have uh, efficient and reliable operation. But that puzzle is driven by ICS system, which is one of the state of the art architecture of the PCS seven. Uh, uh, base and the, the model, control panels we see here behind us. Panels, which is actually giving the full automation of the of the plant, where we have of these trains we have a two in, in operation. One is uh, redundant, so every equipment has the redundancy in a way. So we can do the maintenance in parallel. We can run separately, and like I said, it's a piece of the art and it's a cutting edge edge te technology for for that we have provided to to Adam. Abdullah, we've had the tour of the site, we've heard some of the description of some of the technology. How do you operate this place? Kevin, I am proud to say that we are operating this plant with a team that consists of 95% of UAE nationals. And this is really maybe the first plant in Adnan Public Company with this number of UAE nationals okay. who have really demonstrated their efficiency and their uh, readiness to operate such a plant. And we are proud of that. In addition to this, also we have uh, uh, the first UAE national engineer ladies, one in HSC as, as, as a HSC engineer, the one who the lady the who gave us the, the briefing exactly, and one uh, also as inspection engineer, site inspection engineer, first in the pipeline division among admin gas processing staff. And I'm, I'm guessing that plays all into the UAE's 2030 strategy, yes, right? Absolutely. And not only you know the plant and the, the, the 
what you've done here has been recognised in the region. You, you've got some awards. That's correct. We got the MEAD award for the best uh, uh, project uh, in UAE, not only on the fast track and execution time, but okay. only for the importance and strategy of this project. So that was uh, also achieved from just a few months back. But, you know, we often go to trade shows, we see all the stuff in presentations, we read all the white papers, but to actually get inside, get a tour around the facility, chat to the folks who, who've done it, um, see how they operate it in, in the real world, um, it, it's, it's a unique opportunity. So thank you so much to Adnock and to Siemens for, for getting a glimpse inside because you guys, this is making the energy transition real, right? It's not just a PowerPoint to the, a nice wish list, it's, it's, it's making it real. Thank you so much. Thank you.